Hey guys, Jesse Rousey here once again. I'm going to talk with you a little bit about one of the application reviews that we're doing uh, for our PDR customers. We wanted to take a look at um, the strategy first and foremost, and then we're going to take a look at the tactics in order to get you to do A, generate more content, raise visibility for your brand, products, and services based around three simple areas. Those areas are the work that you do, the customers that you serve, and then f educating future customers about your products and services. So this simple strategy is a way that you can get a lot of content out there and I'm gonna show you how to use an application that you may or may not be familiar with that you can download on your mobile device. And we're gonna be doing this across the board. We're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of different mobile applications and how you can utilize those in order to drive marketing within your organization. Of course, everybody's on the mobile device nowadays so we wanna make sure that you've got the tools, training, and uh, strategies that you need in order to grow your business day after day after day. So uh, the application that we're going to talk about today, and let me jump over to my mobile device here real quick, uh, is actually called PickStitch. And uh, there's two applications that I reviewed. There's one that's just for Messenger, and then there's another one out there that uh, provides you a little bit more integration in regards to your workflow, sharing it out on different um, channels, You know, whether you're on uh, Pinterest or... Um, you know Facebook or LinkedIn or you want to share it across multiple channels you can do that quickly and easily from this application so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your app store and do a quick search for the pick stitch app and as you can see here there's the collage editor and then you have this one down here which is the just for messenger I would encourage that you use the collage editor editor I took a look at both of them and again from a functionality standpoint you know in your workflow and being able to quickly and easily create content that's that looks professional that you can publish out there uh, the pick stitch application is really great for that and I'm going to show you how to do it you know if you're tying together customer reviews um, and you're tying together your before and after videos and or pictures this is a quick and easy way to accomplish that so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and I'm going to open up the application and I can select my template here what we're going to do is we're just going to do a before and after photo with the repair video And then I'm going to get that video there. And as you can see here, what I can do quickly and easily is create or create a collage of the important content that we want to look at. The customer review we want to look at we want to look at the um, before and after pictures or videos and we can do this in a lot of different ways um, but once we've stitched together the content that we have As you can see there, we can quickly and easily stitch together a collage and then share this. Once we get it done or complete, what we can do is we can add music to it. There's a lot of different stuff that we can do. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. I want to go back to... My application here. I'm going to send that back a little bit. As you can see here, we can add music to it. If I had music in there, <laughs> this integrates with uh, the Apple's iTunes store. So if you have music in there, you can play that music. Of course, you don't want to you don't want to put in royalty or music that's not royalty free so that's something you want to be conscious of but if you did have music that was royalty free you could go ahead and do that and add that through the Apple's iTunes store so uh, as you can see here we can go ahead and cancel that out and then we can export this 
it'll create the collage and we can export this to um, our favorite application here as you can see here I get on Facebook I can dump it in my Dropbox account any application that's installed on my phone I can go ahead and do that uh, and or if you have your phone connected to your Dropbox and or your OneDrive you can go ahead and upload that file to there as well now if you're part of our local marketing toolkit and we're handling post-production for you of course you don't want to send all your video content all your images into post-production because what we want to do is in the post-production process um, we want you to definitely publish every single day but what we want to work with is your long form content not your before and after pictures what we want to work on is creating a really nice story if you get a really nice repair video that maybe you do in time lapse or maybe you're doing a repair video and you want to tie it into the customer review and it's a really nice video it turned out very well and you want your intros and outros tied to that that would be something that you upload to you wouldn't utilize pit stitch you would just upload the raw content to your Dropbox and uh, send it to our post-production team and they can put together the videos for you so uh, important uh, distinguishers between this you have your short form content that would highly encourage you to utilize the pick uh, stitch application in order to publish that every single day and then you have your long form content like your uh, educational videos your customer review videos your repair videos that are more long form uh, maybe time lapse or maybe some repairs that you really want to spotlight and utilize for marketing purposes those you would upload into Dropbox and uh, we'd go ahead and help you uh, put together really nice videos on the back end for that so uh, a lot of things to consider but we're going to be doing reviews uh, another one we're going to be doing um, is a review in the near future we're going to talk with you about that uh, we're going to talk about some other applications in order to generate videos uh, where you can basically um, tie together your intro and outros load those to your phone tie together your intros and outros in the repair video really quickly and create some really powerful videos from um, the applications given to us through uh, what was the name of that application here that's uh, oh the quick application so stay tuned for that again we're going to be doing a review on the quick application and how to create some really dynamic videos from that quick application um, from GoPro so uh, that's another app that we're going to be reviewing in the very near future uh, if you're looking for you know additional tools training software and uh, strategies in order to grow your PDR business uh, we will definitely be giving those to you uh, in the near future so do me a favor leave a comment let me know what you think you know I've got giveaways that I'm going to be uh, publishing here on a regular basis for anybody that comments leave the biggest challenge that you're facing in your business um, so we can have a conversation potentially about that how you might be able to resolve it if we can't provide any insight into that we'll definitely put you in contact with somebody who can we love to help out our community we love to help out those people that are uh, out there building their small business and trying to attract customers in their local market so uh, let definitely leave a comment share this out if there's somebody you think that might be able to benefit from it until the next time we speak make today and every day a fantastic day. I'll talk with you real soon.